see y'all, you know, we have so much to do uh, with this house. Now, Eddie and I, today we're jumping into the uh, landscape. Got so much to do, y'all. And uh, Eddie and I have brought you here to Herb Creek. Uh, they have a nice big selection. And uh, you know, I need y'all's help. What are some of y'all's favorite things that require low maintenance? You know, I'm all about low maintenance. Uh, I'm all about perennials that come back every year. Right, Eddie? Yeah. Uh, but today I'm in search of this yellow tree and it, when it blooms, it blooms in February, and it's school bus yellow. And it is so beautiful. When I lived in my little house downtown on Abercorn Street on the square, I had one, and it was simply beautiful. So I'm kind of on the search for that today. Uh, Eddie, can you think of anything else? And I want to think about some Nandinas. Mama had Nandinas in her yard, and I just love those. Just brings back memories. Yeah, we need to look for something that's going to go uh, in, in front of the house yeah. and on the back porch yes. area. Yeah. And then if we see anything like the butterfly the plants that yeah. you, you know with the purple, you, you uh, we showed the yes. uh, architect some purple plants. Yes. Yeah. Eddie showed uh, the landscape architect some beautiful. And I love it when you, it looks like you're walking through a field of wildflowers. You know, I don't know if we can make that happen down here in this heat, but I love that. Now look at these Nandinas. Aren't they pretty? That is a Nandina, right? Yep. I had not seen one in so Nandina. that little. So I'm going to find somebody that can help me, Eddie. I see something blooming over here in yellow, but it's not time for that plant to bloom yet. So I'm gonna see if somebody can help me with the name of it. said I want to I want to hear from y'all I don't uh, I don't particularly uh, claim to know a lot about uh, plants in the yard I know what's pretty I know what I like we need azaleas but, we have no azaleas in I'm, that yard it's not the first azalea in that yard <laughs> it's the most unsouthern house on the I know street it. <laughs> I know it <laughs> I know it so what is your name I'm Chris Chris yes and I'm Paula Nice and you, nice to meet you. And I let me tell you what I'm in search of today. When I lived downtown on Abercorn Street in the historic district on the square, I had this yellow tree in my yard and it blooms in February and it's school bus yellow. Okay. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Was it a tree tree or like a vine type of tree? No, it wasn't a vine, it was a tree. Was it, was it, uh, it wasn't a huge tree. It wasn't like an oak tree. Okay, but it wasn't wide at the bottom. It was, uh, it was an upright it, tree. Right. Okay. Right. It blooms yellow. It could be a Dahoon holly. How, how big was it? Well, it was, it was tall. Okay. It was at least up to that screen. Okay, okay. No, it, was, it, not, was, it was not uh, an old one, I don't think. Okay. I, I suspect... It would be a uh, be a be a type of holly, a dahoon, possibly with the uh, with the yellow flowers. Do you have any of those? We should, yeah. And yeah, it just they, blooms one once a year. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 in February. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So it would be it was between that or possibly a cassia, but if it doesn't bloom in the fall, I think it's a holly. Okay. So all the tree section. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, let's go look at that. That was the most beautiful tree, and uh, in my little in my little cottage downtown. My, my uh, door was painted school bus yellow. And that tree next to that, uh, right off that door, it was just so pretty. Okay. We need one of those chickens, Eddie, to go buy our chicken coop. Yeah. yeah. Are those for sale, Chris? They are. The metal ones. Yes. Wouldn't that be cute, Mama? I like it. <laughs> 85 dollars. 85? Red and white and Yes, ma'am. That's cool. I think, I think we're going to have to put him on our wish list. That's cool. Yeah, let's take a look at all the gear. So the way this normally blooms, it's going to be the normal way. So the way this normally grows, the holly is, I want to say it's a tree-like shrub. It can get very large. And typically they trim the trunks 
to make it like a tree. Right. Does this look familiar at right. all? You know, it was kind of like that. Does this bloom? Yes. In yeah, February? Bl blooms yellow flowers. Uh, early, early to mid spring. So just depending on, uh, just depending on the uh, environment. Do you have pictures of it, uh, like in bloom? So I guess we are going to be getting a. Uh, outside plans any day now so i guess we'll have to bring that in yeah and um match up i don't know like i said i don't pretend to know about okay oh it's cool around here mm -hmm. hey y'all chris may be on to something he thinks he knows which one it is. We've been looking at different uh, trees on on our phones. And one that he showed me looks very much like it could be that. So, is that it? This is it. You'll have to use your imagination a little bit. Picture it blooming. So that is it. Not a real wide trunk. Yeah. This is the golden trumpet tree. Golden trumpet tree. And it doesn't have much uh, leaves on it does it right now? It doesn't. It doesn't. Part of the reason for that is because it is. Is root, it root bound? Most likely. Yeah. Now, does yeah. it get bigger? The, the trunk? Yeah, the, yeah. It'll get bigger. This tree will grow up to about uh, somewhere in the ballpark of 15 and 20 feet. Uh, not. Yeah. They shouldn't get any any larger than that at maturity. I can't but, uh, read yeah, the price, but I think it says 189. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, this one is. Uh, it's been in a pot for a while. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's why a lot of leaf loss. It just there's not enough room. We can't yeah. hang on to water through the, through the heat right now. No, we water this two or three times a day. <laughs> we do. Yeah, yeah, we're still getting some leaf drop. It sucks it up quick, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a full sun tree most places, but our afternoons are pretty harsh this, yeah. this time of year. Yeah, your ferns are beautiful. Yeah, they're actually loving this time of year. The, uh, yeah. they, they, they like the humidity. They don't like to be in the sun, but that one's a yeah. Boston fern right there. Isn't that beautiful? And I love, Chris, what I call wild ferns. You know, they have the bigger... They have the bigger... Largely something fern. like this, but... I think I know what you're talking about. And they, they tend to grow out in the sun, too. Oh, they do? The, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hey, the how are you? Good, how you doing? I believe you are talking about these. Yes. Yeah, these are macho ferns here. And they're one macho? The, macho. Yeah. That's a good name for yeah, them. Yeah, these are one of the few ferns that can actually handle the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the, the savannah sun. I love, I love those kind of ferns. Yeah. So, so but would they do here. all right in the shade if Perfect. that's where they land? If they got a few hours of sunlight a day, they would be fine. But yeah, they do just fine in the shade. These are macho ferns on this side. These, uh -huh. are, these are holly ferns. Yeah. So, yeah, slight difference. More elongated, thinner leaf here. All right, yeah, very, very uh, and we love hydrangeas. We love, love, love hydrangeas. Yep. Is this hydrangea, hydrangea land right here? Yes, yes, this is hydrangea land. <laughs> okay. And a couple of climbing hydrangeas right this here. This is climbing? Yes. Yes, it's climbing hydrangea. Wow. Does it bloom well? It does. <clears throat> Excuse me. It does. So this will climb on a fence? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. That's well, they hadn't got our fence up yet, but uh, we'll have to remember this. Yeah, look at the, uh, look at all the yeah. little fillers. Fe fillers. <laughs> or, or grippers or whatever they're called. <laughs> Tentacles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the flowers aren't quite as large as your, as your normal hydrangea, but they're... And when does this, does this, this uh, bloom early or... Uh, this one's going to be a uh, late spring, early summer bloomer. Seems like the uh, the. Uh, they should rebloom several times during, during the winter. Yeah, season. I, 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 was, I was gonna say. Uh, I just recently sold my property on uh, Wilmington Island River Bend, okay. and we had a bunch of hydrangeas on that. And seems like they bloomed, Eddie. Once they started, they kind of bloomed for like a while. Yeah, yeah. They. I mean, but the ones we have now, they. They bloomed and they they gone. Well, we did the the limelight, and I think those are early summer. And um, but then we have some endless summer, um, which we got here. We got some of the got, blue. Yeah, all, the all the hydrangeas came from here. Yeah, yeah I like those. <laughs> I like those. I think we had some. We had some. Uh, Limelight. Yeah. 
I think we got plenty of limelight. Yeah. But I sure am interested in putting a couple of these out by the fence when you go into the dock. Yeah, yeah. And see what that looks like. Full sun for these? No. Well, that wouldn't work. Some morning sun would be all right, but the uh -huh. afternoon sun is going to be too much for them. Yeah, that's actually what that I think I suspect there. that's what happened in, in transport. We yeah. haven't had these here very long. Yeah. They came in a little bit more. Yeah. They'll be, they'll be fine. It's so, taking some time. Yeah. Oh. I would love to have a couple of those. All right, Chris, what, uh, you know, I told you I love, I love, like, walking into, like, a field of wildflowers. Okay. Is that possible down here, or is it... More northern. Well, you say wildflowers. I mean, uh, like butterfly fly plant. Oh, okay, yeah, purple sure, coloring, sure. Like kind of wispy looking. Yeah. Okay, that sounds to me like, like a salvia would be would be something that fits I, that I'm description. It's with great. A yeah, great for drawing in pollinators. They do die back uh -huh. in the winter time, uh -huh. but they reemerge quickly in the spring. Well, that's all right. They're they're real tough plants as far yeah. as handling the, the, the heat. And now where are those? So. Oh, they're back up front. We got our walking shoes on, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Mexican petunias. Well, I'll ask Eddie to show you the, the picture that I just love of, uh, like, this wild, wild garden. Like, that lantana's pretty. It's not... Yeah, they're native around here, too. They grow everywhere. Yeah. Like, a blue salvia. Yeah, it's a line of pathway. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is exactly. Oh, this is so pretty. This is exactly what. This is, yeah. This is typically swarming with, uh, with butterflies. Well, I think there's butterflies over there. I oh, thought. yeah. Yeah. Milkweed is another good one to grow. Milkweed Food? to attract your monarch butterflies. What's milkweed? So, milkweed. Here's our milkweed. Let's see. And what is this? This is pretty. That's not a Gerber daisy, is it? It's not a Gerber daisy, is it? No, I don't think so. And what, is, what kind of flower is that orange? This is milkweed. It's typically going to have a uh, a mixed flower of uh, kind of a pink and a yellow. Pink and yellow. Yeah, yeah. Small flowers. They look kind of like the lantana. Uh huh. Some similar similar to this, little clusters Ooh, of small like flowers like this. Okay. Chris, this has oh, this is what I just made. This is Ruelia, uh, Mexican petunias. Okay. So, I love yep, this. They, they love the sun. And we've got we've got some of the going yep. along the driveway we right did? now. This one right here. And yeah, the they purple. Bloom, the purple's really oh, yeah. popular. They bloom all summer long. They spread out on you too. All right, let's so. remember this, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's another good one for pollinators. This is your milkweed. It's uh, not grown to be attractive. It's grown to attract monarch butterflies. Okay. So, yeah, you can see there's some caterpillars that have been uh -huh. in here too uh -huh. and already. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that haven't been got by the birds. Well, but, Chris, uh, Eddie just reminded me that I have a conference call that was supposed to start 10 or 15 oh, minutes ago. Sure. So, we're going to have to break away, but we will sure. be back as soon as the landscape architect gets my plans in. We'll be back. Do you work Pretty every good. day? Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, I fun. so appreciate your help and oh, your welcome. knowledge. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to help out. Now, what is this? This is an African iris. So it is Does another it full those? sun lover. Okay. Yeah, they bloom either white or yellow flowers, depending on which variety okay. you have. Yeah. This is a white. I was going to say, now when do those bloom? Uh, early summer. So they're going to bloom. Okay. All, yeah, they're going to bloom through the summer in the heat. To me, that would be so, so pretty fun. mixed in with. Uh, stuff over here. I can't even remember the name. Mexican Petunia. Mexican Petunia. Well, that's the easy one. They're Ruelia, yeah. but Mexican Petunia is easier to remember. Yeah. And now what is this? This is pretty. I don't know this one. You don't? This is. I have to look at the name. Oh, that's a Wagila. That's a who? Wagila. I believe I'm saying that right. We just got those in this year. Okay, yeah, when does that bloom? Uh, all summer long. They've been blooming since we got them. So they're, yeah, it's 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 a full sun lover. I love it those. Needs, it needs one of those. Okay, yeah. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff needs God's water. Yeah. 
they've been baking instead of the for... the hose water. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Well, Chris, okay. thank you so so much, and we'll be back. And it should happen uh, in the next couple of weeks. Now, I love things like this. I love things that crawl and creep. This is yes. what we have. Sorry. I was going to yeah. say. Um, this is a dipodemia. I, I so. kept coming back looking. I think I got two of them, and I kept coming back looking for more yellow. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so a dipodemia often confused with Vandeville. One of them is just this one is crawling different. like crazy, and the other one's just, he's like stunted. He like won't. Oh, okay. If we cut them, it'll, well, it'll kind of spread out. We cut the ends off a little bit. Yeah, you'll encourage, yeah you'll encourage thick, denser growth rather than running. So if you yeah if you remove the uh, yeah. if you remove the main node with the called the meristem, the tip of that, it's not going to grow from there anymore. It's going to have to redirect its growth laterally. Okay. These are pretty too. Yeah, pentas do great in the sun all summer long. They're an okay. annual. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, but they're they're very nice also. It's like pollinators. Uh huh. Aren't those pretty? And these are pretty in this color. Well, Chris, I could stay here all day long if the heat didn't get me. Thanks, Chris. I understand. Yep. Glad to help out. Nice to meet you both. Hey, y'all. It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.